A female stingray named Charlotte is expecting pups. But here's the thing. She's been living at the aquarium without a male companion. There seems to be two possible solutions to the puzzle. So some of you guys may have already heard about this. There is a stingray named Charlotte in a North Carolina aquarium, and she has now become pregnant, but there's no male stingrays in the tank where she exists. So some people are talking about how stingrays can actually store sperm for a long period of time, and then that they can use it later to become pregnant. But the workers at the aquarium are saying that she's never, ever been around any other male stingrays at any point in her life. So what's happening? So one of the possibilities is that Charlotte is actually in a tank with two younger male sharks and that people are speculating that maybe those male sharks reproduce with her. The two sharks in the tank are Mo and Larry and there were actually bite marks discovered on Charlotte after they were introduced. These bite marks are something that you will see in shark mating when the male shark will bite onto the female to basically hold her in place for the reproduction process but there have never been any documented cases of sharks and rays mating or having successful pregnancies and births from reproduction. So that's very, very unlikely. What's more likely is that this ray, Charlotte, she actually is going through what's called parthenogenesis, which is an adaptation in sharks and rays where they will just randomly actually develop these eggs and they'll be a clone of their mother counterpart. And this is an evolutionary trait that allows them to reproduce even if they're not around any other rays of the opposite sex that can actually reproduce with them. This is extremely, extremely rare in rays, but it has been documented before. So of the two options, the shark impregnating the ray or the ray Charlotte going through parthenogenesis, I would guess it's going to be the second of the two, but the non-scientist part of me wants it to be that the shark impregnated the ray. Because that would be so cool. That would be something that we've never seen before and something that we never really thought was possible. So you never know, but it is unlikely. And I literally could only imagine, they probably wouldn't even be viable and make it through birth. I don't even know. But imagining a stingray hybrid of a shark would be so freaking cute. And we won't actually know what happened until Charlotte gives birth and we can actually genetically test the babies and see what their genetics are and where they're coming from. So what do you guys think is what happened?